Hello guys, how's it going? Uh, as you can see, I'm in a cut-off today, uh, simply because I am running out of things to wear my wardrobe. But anyways, without further ado, let's get into this video. So today we're going to be covering exactly what softwares you need and at what level uh, in order to build your SMMA, social media marketing agency, uh, particularly for, for Facebook ads. However, if you do social media management, web design, any form of agency, these are going to be the core softwares that you're going to need 100%, no doubt. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. So first of all, I know everyone are at different like kind of financial stages. So I'm going to be going over exactly what kind of softwares you'll need if you're just like flat out broke. Um, I'm talking like zero dollars in the bank account. Um, so this is predominantly targeted at like my Indian viewers and people uh, people that watch me from like third world countries when they where they genuinely do not have that much money to invest in something like HubSpot and where something like 45 pounds a month is literally just like the fucking world to them. So gonna be covering that, um, what to do if you're broke, what kind of softwares you'll need for that. And if you have some money to invest, what kind of softwares you'll be needing in the beginning stages at least. Um, so just to be clear, clear with you guys for transparency sake, in total, my fixed monthly cost to run my agency is around 150 pounds, including click funnels, hello, um, hello sign, simple invoices, G Suite, and things of that nature. So I'll be covering all of that in a second. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, let's get into this video. So before I get into it, there's mainly three categories you need. Um, and these are going to be communication, payment, and contracts. So these three categories you're going to need software for flat out. And the most important one is actually going to be um, communications simply because this is how you're actually going to get the clients. So this is where I wouldn't actually cheap out. So, um, but if you're completely broke, here are the things that you need for these three categories. Let's get into it. So Slack, number one, this is going to be like the equivalent of like discord. Uh, basically you're going to use all of uh, this entirely for communications with your client. And this is really good because you can create like private channels that individual clients wouldn't actually be able to see and also you can um, there's basically more privacy settings however if you really just can't afford slack ever then what i would recommend is actually discord now discord is actually um predominantly designed for gamers however you can kind of have you, you can use it for business applications as well um slightly harder to manage but um definitely has a lot of versatility and actually has a lot more features than discord so that's something i would highly highly recommend for you guys as well uh but the only downside with that is you know you you're forced to be 100 percent transparent so like in slack for example there are private channels that other people wouldn't be able to see other than the uh, the people that has access to those channels however with something like discord that's not a thing at all next you will need an email client personally i recommend gmail uh and because the uh, g suite has some amazing integrations and honestly like g suite is like industry standard pretty much. So um, once you have one client, I definitely recommend getting G Suite if you can't afford it at the moment. But G Suite is literally like such a lifesaver and keep helps me stay organized so much more. And also it means that you have native Google Docs um, spreadsheets and presentations so you won't need any like you know like Microsoft Word, Excel documents, da da da. Another three things you'll need LinkedIn, Zoom, or um, Google Meets. So what I mean by LinkedIn is that's gonna help you a ton in terms of free outreach, especially if you're somewhere like, um, if, for example, if you wanna offer WeChat ads uh, and you're in China, LinkedIn is a great place to actually tap into the Chinese market because all social media platforms in China are pretty much banned, except LinkedIn. LinkedIn, you, got, you can have access to the Chinese platforms and Chinese demographic. Uh, Zoom is where you're gonna conduct most of your sales calls, client meetings, and things of that nature. The good thing about Zoom is there's a native record feature. Now with the native record feature, it records locally to your computer. Highly recommend that simply because, you know, um, you want to be reviewing all of your sales calls. That's not something I'm doing currently myself, but I've been strongly advised to do that, which is why I've actually integrated my Zoom with my HubSpot. So yeah. I'm going to be starting to record all my sales calls and also be reviewing my team calls as well to try to like 
pick out the nitty gritty and really trying to refine the process. Highly recommend Zoom for that. But obviously, um, sometimes with Zoom, once you have um, more than two people on the call, what's going to happen is you're limited to, I believe, 30 or 45 minutes for conference calls on uh, on free accounts. So what I would recommend is for those kinds of meetings, you want to use Google Meets. Oh, one more thing for communications. This is going to be the software that you use to draft all of your proposals, um, all of your you know agency-wide documents, basically any document that you actually show the client. Uh, besides the contract, obviously, you want to be able to draft it on this and this software is called Canva it's web-based 100% web-based and basically it allows you to make really really nice looking presentations uh, leaflets proposals anything that you essentially want to hand out to the client any pdf documents things of that nature you want to be hosting that on Canva simply because you know um, by having nice looking documents it's going to build a lot more trust and actually add a lot more value to your services um, because you know for example if I receive a document um, that's typed out on word I immediately place less value on it but also it's very very nice to have like an agency theme so my theme for my agency is like this yellow one with like um, very strict kind of layouts that I use for all of my case studies proposals and things of that nature so basically you want to standardize as many things as possible for your agency to kind of streamline the whole process so yeah canvas another very very useful link for that um, by the way all of the links for the softwares are going to be down below um, some of them might be affiliate um, but I don't make money off of it it's more like I get a month free so those softwares feel free to check it out using my link obviously if you don't want to do that because you don't want to support me 100% up to you uh, but yeah anyways Canva down below zoom as well anything of that nature down below now moving on to payments for people that are completely broke i simply recommend just using stripe or paypal stripe isn't available for certain niches which is why um i i give paypal as like an alternative but now with paypal you should um kind of avoid it simply because when you're a fresh account on PayPal, any payment above, I'd even say like, I think it's 1,000 or 1.5 thousand is gonna get frozen for a very, very long time before you get paid out. However, with Stripe, it's completely different. You get paid out every single week, uh, no questions asked pretty much, and it's much harder to file a dispute with Stripe which is why I kind of um, avoid using PayPal in total, simply because, you know, PayPal is a, a platform that a lot of people um, commit fraud on, which is why they're very, very careful with their security measures. So definitely Stripe is the better alternative. However, if you're in a country that doesn't allow for Stripe or you, if you're in a niche um, that doesn't allow for Stripe, then obviously PayPal is the way to go. Now, on to contracts. If you cannot afford any e-contract services, then I would recommend just having Adobe PDF Reader. Uh, there's actually like a little signature option for um, you guys to do uh, e-signatures. And that's basically uh, what you would do is you would sign the document on your laptop, uh, send it over to the client with like a link, this link of teaching them how to actually sign the document. And then they would sign it on their Adobe Reader and then just send it back to you. This is not as convenient as like an e-contract. However, obviously, if you can't afford um, something like HelloSign, which is about, I think, 10 to $15 US um, a month, then PDF readers are the way to go. It looks a lot less professional, but, um, you know, you got to do what you got to do to begin with. Now, this is where the fun stuff gets in. So if you can afford to invest in your agency, then these are the software that um, I would recommend you have. Number one on the priority list is going to be G Suite. This is only going to cost you, I believe, like four or five pounds. So like, um, I think five dollars a month, which is just absolutely nothing. You get um, 30 gigs of G Drive storage. And also if you pay $10 addition to that, I think it's 10 pounds for me. Um, you get a domain name, highly, highly useful because you want to be emailing not with like just standard at Gmail because that doesn't create too much trust. You want to be able to have your actual domain name and um, that looks a lot more professional and you're able to sign bigger clients and your cold email outreach is going to be taken a lot more seriously. And also if you commit to, um, you, if you do all of like the certifications and stuff, you can ensure that your emails never end up in spam. Two softwares top of my list is going to be G Suite number one, and then a domain name number two. 
Secondly, it's going to be a CRM. Personally, I use HubSpot because I use it for um, email automation as well. Everything is integrated nicely and it's very native, intuitive, and I just like HubSpot, to be honest. I pay around £45 for that. I only have the sales module. I don't use the marketing module um, because, you know, marketing, you get landing pages and um, I think email campaigns. I don't do that at the moment. Maybe once I start, you know, writing sales um, newsletters for you guys and then getting my mailing list for my YouTube, then I would consider something like that. But for even that, I prefer something like Active Campaign because dude, Active Campaign's email automation is crazy. You're able to do so much more than HubSpot. But obviously, because I'm just starting, I like HubSpot because everything's in one place. Uh, so it makes it a lot more easy for me. Thirdly, I would get HelloSign and Simple Invoices. Simple Invoices, super, super easy to use. Tomorrow's video, I'm gonna be covering how to exactly take payments and how to not, um, how, how to handle like the very basics of um, price objections, just because like some people, when they try to take payments, uh, they stutter like, and then they don't really know the processes. I'm gonna walk you through exactly how I take payments for my clients uh, in tomorrow's video. So, so subscribe if you're interested in that and if you've never taken payment before or, you know, if someone's given you a verbal agreement and you just don't really know how to progress from there, watch tomorrow's video, highly, highly useful for you. So yeah, simple invoices, hello sign. This is going to streamline the entire process in terms of um, actually taking payments and getting the contract signed. And some most of the time, this is going to be the point where your potential client is going to have the most um, time to reframe the whole transaction. So you want to limit the stress of this as much as possible, which is why I think personally paying something like £10 for simple invoices on a monthly basis and hello sign is so, so, so worth it just because, you know, um, it's so easy to handle and it's gonna make your payment process so much smoother. Personally, I also pay for ClickFunnels and that's gonna to be to host my onboarding mainly and also a website. Um, this is gonna cost you around 75 pounds or $97 a month. Um, if you guys cannot afford that, don't worry. ClickFunnels should be like the bottom of your priority list. What you could do instead of um, ha with having the same onboarding funnel is just create like a YouTube playlist of unlisted videos that you get your client to go through and any of the links you just, you know, slap them in the description. Um, it's less professional and less um, official feeling. However, you know, if you can't afford ClickFunnels, don't worry about it at all. So personally, as I said previously, early on in the video, um, all of my software in terms of fixed costs for my agency costs me 155, 150 ish pounds a month. Now, if you're in a geographically blessed area, so a first world country, that's gonna be like Australia, Canada, US, UK, uh, Sweden, basically any of the first world countries, um, you have no excuse not to invest at least £100 into your agency on a monthly basis uh, if you're serious about getting clients. Because honestly, something like HubSpot for me, oh my god, it, it makes my life so much easier. Um, so yeah, but obviously if you're in somewhere like India, as I know some of my subscribers are, or you know, like Lithuania or something where they genuinely just cannot afford the uh, softwares, then hate to break it to you, your journey is gonna be a lot tougher uh, simply because you know, you're gonna to have to manually do a lot more. So what many, many agency, um, sorry, SMMA teachers on YouTube don't tell you is if you're literally in a like a worse off country, then it's gonna to be tough. It, you're gonna to have to work like four or five times harder than someone like me to get your first client. This is because, you know, like, if you jump on a sales call with me um, and someone's trying to sell me something and they have like an Indian accent, I automatically place like a lower value on their services. Um, this is, I'm just gonna say it straight up, it's gonna be very hard to build the trust um, because you know, in the West, mentally you're automatically trained to trust certain accents less. And this, you might see it as like a racist thing, but to be honest, I just see it for what it is. Um, if someone pitches to me in a very, very foreign accent that's not like Chinese or something, then I automatically just like have distrust against it. But also another thing is, for example, if you were to pay someone in India, they could literally run off with your money and you would never be able to find them. Because guess what? The legal system sucks. Like. That's why even me personally, I've had some um, US prospects on meetings say, I don't wanna sign with a UK agency, I'd rather sign with someone in the US. 
Which, you know, it, it's completely fine. It's just, it is what it is. It's the sad truth of it. So if you're in a third world country and you can't afford these softwares, uh, just be sure to pr be prepared to work a lot harder. And also think about outsourcing less. Try to um, increase your actual intrinsic value of your own skills more. This is because guess what? You know, if you want to outsource um, to somewhere that's cheaper for labor, bro, you're in India. This is the, like, labor doesn't get any cheaper than India. So like your time, you, you can't afford to outsource to anywhere, that, anywhere that's cheaper because you are in the one of the brokest countries in the world. You know, does that make sense? Uh, sorry if I'm sounding harsh, by the way, it is just what it is. If you're from the UK or US, which is 90% of people watching this because I look at my U uh, viewer demographics, but anyways, um, if you're from the UK or US, you have no excuse not to really kind of invest £150 minimum into your agency. Maybe maybe only like £90 would be fine just because you don't need the whole click funnels thing. But definitely, I'd say buy the software, don't cheap out on that. I mean, like, you know, minimum wage in the UK, I believe, is around £8.75. That's less than 20 hours of work a week if you just get a, um, a job at like Starbucks or something. Like, look, it's not hard to find the money every single month. And also stop buying bullshit. Like stop buying the new clothes, stop going out to eat. It's not hard to scrape together 90 pounds a month to build into something um, that's m multiple six figures. And if you're really serious about your agency journey, you're gonna be able to scale back on your life quite easily. So yeah, please do invest in your own agency if you want to take your agency seriously. These are the software that I personally use myself and I personally recommend you guys use it as well. It's helped me massively and that's how I've been able to secure my clients and, you know, um, yeah, set my meetings, etc., etc. £150 is really like nothing. And with that, I will see you guys on tomorrow's taking payment video. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good day. Like this video, comment down below any questions you have and subscribe to the channel. See you guys tomorrow.